A high school cheerleading team is involved in a head-on collision with a suspected drunk driver. They were on their way to a national championship. It was a sleepless night for parents until they were reassured their kids were okay. WLKY's Ann Bowden has more on the story. Just after 7 o'clock on Wednesday evening, here at Bullet Central High School, 29 cheerleaders and three adult coaches left for national championships in Orlando, Florida. But little did they know their trip would take a sudden turn. Called me about 2.15 this morning. Uh, woke up and gave me the, the news about the crash. Uh, pretty devastating call. This is what's left of the Miller Transportation bus that was carrying Bullet Central's cheerleading squad and coaches. A white car crossed into oncoming traffic on I-75 and collided head on with the tour bus just outside of Atlanta. He called me about 3 o'clock this morning and said, hey mom, we've been in an accident. Or, well, we've been in a crash. And I was like, um, what? Angela Dennison's 14-year-old son, Elijah, is a freshman on the squad. Everybody was asleep, and it just woke everybody up, obviously. He said, I hit my head, but I'm okay. Active in ROTC, cross country, and soccer, this was Elijah's first trip with the cheerleading team. You know, I just dropped him off and thought everything was going to be okay. So when I got the call, you know, I was actually up until 4 30, kind of freaking out. But everyone on the bus was okay. They arrived in Florida Thursday at noon. The driver of the car, 22 year old Alyssa Mills of Atlanta, has been charged with DUI. And the first thing that came to my mind when I heard the news that the bus had crashed was the incident in Carrollton, Kentucky, many years ago that was uh, very. Uh, Tragic situation. The school says after they finally arrived, the students, cheerleaders, and all of the coaches were able to rest a bit before they started up with practice again so that they could be prepared for the national championships on Saturday. Here at Bullet Central High School, Ann Bowden, WLKY News. Mills was taken to the hospital for minor injuries. Again, she's now charged with driving under the influence, driving on the wrong side of the roadway, and reckless driving. Buses from other schools circled back to the accident scene to help take Bullock Central's team onto Florida.